The purpose of this short video is to show how SalesPad can help users extend the data that they're storing and viewing through the creation of unlimited user-defined fields on key business objects throughout SalesPad. First we'll take a look at the user field editor. As you can see on the left hand side, users are allowed to create unlimited user-defined fields on the customer card, the customer address record, the item master, the purchase line item, the purchase order, sales documents of all types, sales document line items, the vendor record, and the vendor address record. These fields can be a variety of types of fields including text, drop-down list, date and time fields, uh, true-false checkboxes. They also can be attachments, uh, attached images. They can function as hyperlinked fields or be set as read-only. I'm going to close the user field editor and log into SalesPad and show the various places that users can access the data that's being stored in user fields. They also can maintain this data in a variety of places. First we'll take a look at a customer card. So I'll look up Blue Yonder Airlines and if we go to the customer card you'll notice if the user has proper security you'll see a user field tab on this customer card. So in addition to seeing open sales orders, complete contact record for this customer, we can take a look at user defined fields. In this case I've defined a variety of fields including drop down lists where selections can be made, attachments, so here's a customer profile field that has a document attached and I can go out, I can just grab a document uh, and it's permanently attached now or I can pop that document open right at the point of uh, uh, that I'd like to look at it. I'll just close this document and we'll go back to the user tab. So typically user fields are accessed on a user tab but if we go into a specific sales document you'll notice in this case user fields can be actually added to the header of the sales document. There's also a user field tab where fields can be maintained, they can be viewed or in this case I've added the approved by field and the catalog field to the header of this sales document so they can be maintained right here. This is an administrative function but it makes it very easy to include uh, user-defined fields as part of the tab sequence uh, when creating quotes, orders, invoices, uh, or returns. Another place that user fields can be um, accessed is on various grids throughout the system. So in the case of our customer search grid um, contact level user fields are, uh, as they're created, are immediately available to be added to an individual user's grid. So if I take a look at our grid dropdown in the column chooser, you'll notice down at the bottom my user defined fields are designated with an X to make them easy to see. So if I want to add contact title to this grid, which is a user defined field, I've added it and I can place it where I would like it to be on the grid and then I can use it to filter the data that I'm looking at. So I'm just going to do a wide open search on the customer card and go to the contact title field, my user defined field, and just start uh, typing the word president. And you'll see now here are all the companies and the contacts that are designated as presidents in the user field. I want to take a quick look at the inventory lookup uh, and show the user field options here. So if I take a look, I'm going to search on my A100, which is an audio system. You'll notice in this case, not only do I have uh, a checkbox, which is a true-false field, uh, some freeform text fields, I have an attachment field, so I could take a look at a user guide for the A100. And I actually have an image attached, so I can display an image right at the point of uh, looking this item up. If you'd like to learn more about how great uh, SalesPad user-defined fields, uh, can be set up and used throughout SalesPad, please contact us at www.salespad.net. Thank you.